but hello, Cynthia. Hi, Sam. How are you doing? Good. How are you, friend? I'm great. I'm great. You are looking lovely. Oh. I love your background. I'm in an office. You. <laughs> I'm in a studio bedroom. <laughs> Actually, your new space is looking great. Thank you. I'm so happy to have it. My goodness. But I miss doing shows with you. I feel like I you're know. my like bender mom. I, That's oh, what I thank people you. About I you. love that I'm your bender mom. I love that. I love yeah, that. I know. We only did two shows together, but I, I feel like we have more in our future together. So. And I, yes, I agree. And I think our first show, you know, the funny thing about our first show is our first show is like so tied to our story. Yeah. You know? Right. And that's why, like, meeting you and connecting with you at that show was perfect. Was right. So perfect. Right. And, and we, we needed festival. it emotionally at that show because right. of how much of a train wreck it was. <laughs> well, but, it, but more than that, like, so look, can I tell you our story? Yeah, please. Right. So our story is this. So Rob and I, um, this is, this, this is our, I hate to say side hustle. I hate that term, but. You know, this is, this is our, um, this is kind of hobby. Passion project. Passion, yeah. yeah. So what happened is, so he has a, he has a, um, a culinary, he has training, culinary training. He is a chef by training. Um, I'm a school teacher. And, but we came together um, with food. We love food. We love to cook. We love to experiment. We love, and we love to travel. One of the other things we love a lot is live music. So we were sitting there one night cooking whatever having a glass of wine and we said wouldn't it be cool to teach people and share a, about our passion at a music festival we could have a booth we could have so we developed this concept right so then we said oh maybe we need a website oh maybe we need this so the website came together before we actually even went to a music festival oh my gosh so it all it it all kind of got turned inside out and upside yeah. down so when we met you, that was actually our first music festival. Oh, cool. Which is hysterical, right? That's because funny. we had done other venues, but that right. was actually our first music festival. We had such high hopes. It was great. I know. And it turned out, it turned out it was like great for other reasons. You right. Know, exactly. yeah. the bomb, That's but, a great um, way of putting it. <laughs> yeah, it was so yeah. great for other reasons. Yeah, it's know. so true. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us the name of your company too and where you're located. Okay, so our company is Nomad Spice Company, and we are located out of Vernon, New Jersey, and we are um, spice and tea importers. So cool. Yeah. And your booth, too, at shows is, like, so inviting. It feels like you're at a little market. It's so perfect, and you oh, lured you. me in with your hibiscus and butterfly pea flower. Yeah, you know, I, I, Ugh. I wanted to have a glass with me. I <laughs> brewed some. I, and I was going to show you how to make the colors happen. Oh my gosh. Uh, but we can do that another time. I can yeah. do a little. Um, do that throughout the week. We can pick another time and we can put that on the market. Great. So what, um, so what Sam's talking about here is <laughs> um, butterfly pea flower tea. I don't know if, if you've heard about it. It is, um, it is blue naturally, blue naturally. And it comes from Thailand. Um, it's, it's really high in antioxidants, no caffeine. It's great. When you add an acid to it, so lemon or lime or orange, it turns this beautiful, beautiful purple. So, which like hurts my art brain because I'm like, but lemon is yellow, so it should be green. <laughs> I know, I know. So it becomes this color thing instead of a chemistry thing. Right, exactly. So, so, um, so at the fairs, we we sell takeaway. Um, butterfly pea flower lemonade, which is this lavender color. And then we sell hibiscus limeade, which is this beautiful red. And Sam, <laughs> you know, Sam blend. Sam wanted half and half. And the drink was stunning. So stunning. pretty. And, and it matched and my hair at the time because I had- It matched your hair. Your braids, <laughs> were, your braids were the color and it matched your hair. And yeah. it was like, it, and people would come over to our booth and say, we want the Sam mix. Oh my gosh. I didn't know they called it that. Oh yeah, they <laughs> called it the Sam mix. It was, great. it was great. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Great. And it was so good and delicious. And right. so actually a lot of people have um, learned about butterfly pea flower. So we sell 
um, you know, in this environment, we sell the, the flowers um, to make the tea. So we sell the butterfly pea flower, we sell the hibiscus, along with tons of other spices. Yeah, and I was using it now in this current state of affairs to make dye for homemade Play-Doh that I was making and selling. So right, it's a great natural dye to use for crafting and arts purposes as well, too. And there's yeah. a um, there's a wonderful baker on Instagram. Her name is Suli. And she, I, I bake sourdough and she's a sourdough queen. <laughs> she uses butterfly pea flour to dye her, um, her doughs. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's You got to send me that link. Gorgeous. Yes, I'll send you that link. It's yeah. gorgeous. Her stuff is stunning. That's incredible. Stunning. Oh, I got to look that up. Uh, yeah. Well, so tell us about your favorite part about owning your business and doing your passion project. Well, the favorite part for Rob and I is that, um, number one, we get to try a lot of new spices. That's, that's mm. kind of like the selfish side. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the best part is that we get to share it and we get to teach people. And that is really, and you know, from coming over to our booth, when we talk to you about our spices, um, we're just passionate and we really, um, we really love helping people learn and grow in their kitchen. So yeah. for example, one of the things we just brought in chili lime, a chili lime seasoning. So um, you can actually sprinkle that on fruit and it kind of brightens up. The oh, fruit. yum. Delicious. And we That's also brought, just brought in za'atar. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you're familiar with za'atar, which is no. a Middle Eastern spice. We just brought that in. Um, so we have a lot of spices from all over the world. And that's probably our most favorite part is to help people, you know, kind of spice up their dishes without being spicy, you know, right. There's so much hear spice, out there. yeah, right. When people hear spice, they think hot and spice isn't hot spice is flavor. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's so smart. And they're all beautifully packaged as well, too. And the colors Thank are you. so rich. Oh, they're just so beautiful. Thank I love you. them. So what's some advice you have for someone who's looking to start their own business or turn their passion project into more of a hustle or any show advice or, you know, getting into the retail side of things, any of those topics you can go okay. on. <laughs> so um, I can't really speak so much about the website part because Rob did that, my partner, and he's fabulous at it. But if you are going to use an online um, system, um, you definitely, whether it's eBay or it's an Etsy, we chose not to go Amazon. That's not yeah. our world. Um, we actually love Etsy. That's kind of our world. Um, seems to be our customer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the fact is, be honest, be truthful, um, make sure that you are um, expedient with, with pieces, you know, and, um, be yourself, just, mm -hmm. you know, personality, let your own personality come through. Yeah. Um, and then at fairs, um, or other vendor events, the same thing, you know, make sure that your booth represents who you are so that people walking down say, Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like, I would like to see that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, you know, you know, we don't hawk, we don't hawk. Um, we, you know, would you like a sample? Sure. Here, have a sample. But, um, right. you know, I think that's a, just be yourself, be yourself yeah. and, you know, do something you're comfortable with. I mm -hmm. think that's, don't, don't grow too fast. You know, we, we only add one or two new spices a year. Right. We don't add a whole lot of new things because we want to really understand it. We want to learn it. We want to work with that spice prior to bring it in, bringing it in. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, you know, don't go too fast. Right. That's all great advice. Yeah. I think your product speaks for itself and like, you know, you make conversation with people naturally and can just kind of have like an ease to communicating with people at shows. And that goes a long way instead of hunting people down, like begging them to have a sample. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, right, right. exactly. And I think the color, you know, the drinks, I think, yeah. you know, like, where's that purple drink? Where's that? Well, you know, people come looking for that. It's so true. And that, that, I mean, I hope we can do more festivals together in the future because, you know, at a music festival, if you see like, you know, any, 
any kind of fair fairground or like amusement park like whenever you see someone have a creative drink you go try to find that thing it's such absolutely. a weird thing absolutely. that our culture does <laughs> absolutely and you know for us um the way we have our drinks set up we have it we have the lemonade we have the limeade but then we have the teas uh without anything in them yeah so if people don't want lemon or lime and we we only sweeten with honey we don't sweeten mm -hmm. with any um um you know processed sugars or anything yeah. like that so yeah. um you know if what somebody wants more honey or somebody wants less honey you know we can make right. one on the spot for you but mm -hmm. we have them ready to go and we can mix them a lot of people yeah. get the same mix yeah you know? <laughs> and you know it's so funny sam at other events um we actually say oh we can or we can do the sam mix and the sam mix is oh my awesome. gosh we tell people about the sam mix <laughs> so and and, you need to print a picture of me then to go with it because you're going to be like, who the heck is this you, chick? <laughs> and you just read my mind. I, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You just read my mind. I, I almost just said, it when my hair was that color. I to almost just said I need permission to use your image. Have it. Okay. <laughs> Fabulous. I'm going to take that picture with you holding, holding a drink with your hair, the color of the drink. Oh my and gosh. we'll make sure, you know, well, actually you and I can work together on making a sign um, so that we have your information on our side oh yeah that'd be awesome <laughs> and we can have it in our booth wherever we are oh my gosh you guys are the best. that's such that's a great what idea it's all about yeah i think something we've been talking a lot about between all the interviews and vendors is like you have to have an open mind to collaborating with people you know or at least just be kind in in how you say no to things <laughs> you know like i it's so funny and and i'm not trying to put this person down whatsoever but i did an event and um, it was a Christmas event and I went over to her booth and she was making gorgeous ornaments. And so it was at the end of the show and I was like, hey, I, I just want to say hello. Like we've been across from each other all day, but we didn't get to talk. And you know me, I love to talk to everybody at shows and I, I never am at my own booth half the time. And I was like, I love your pieces. Would you be interested in bartering um, or trading? Because I have a bunch of things at my booth and I love yours and I'll definitely buy them. But you know, just offering. And her, her excuse was that she didn't, she, what did she say? She was, it was something like, yeah, I, I don't really get along with other vendors that well or something along those lines. And I was like, I mean, you're meeting me right this second. Like, you know, right, 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 right. <laughs> it was so strange. That's I was like, so okay. And she did kind of keep to herself the entire show. She didn't talk to anybody around her. And it's like, if you're doing markets, like everyone has their own, that's the way I feel like things used to be. You know, it used to be like everyone goes, they do their thing and then they leave. But like creating the culture and the community around doing these events is Absolutely. what makes it so sustainable. Like, so, <laughs> let me tell you about this piece that I'm wearing. Yeah. So this is actually, this is yeah. actually a butterfly pea flower. Mm -hmm. um, and a vendor at another event, we were at Sugarloaf, New York. Yep. Um, so the young lady next to us, um, she was making, she makes botanical jewelry. So she pretty. uses, she uses uh, feathers and she uses uh, pressed flowers and whatnot. So um, her stuff was just, she has beautiful things. So, you know, I'm over there looking and I bought yeah. things and she's over there looking at our stuff. Yeah. And, you know, and what I didn't know is that Rob went over and was talking to her and for my birthday. So oh, I didn't know it was a surprise. Made, oh my so god! She made me, so she made me a cuff that I don't have the cuff on right now. So a cuff and this um, so for my birthday, and I it was like, oh my god, it's so cool, it's yeah. so beautiful, and again, it's one of those things. So and you know, we follow each other. Yeah. You know, how are you doing? She, you know, she's from Nyack. And okay. I know she does, you know, she does Asbury Park and she does at the Nyack and she does all these different venues and her stuff. I've watched her grow. And again, like you said, I'm, I'm like fair mom, <laughs> vendor mom. You know, she's, again, she's around your age. Yeah. And it's just, um, it's just so wonderful to see. And I, what I love is I love seeing people make a living or support yeah. part of their world. Right with something that they love. You know, that old adage, you know, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your mm -hmm. life. It's hard work. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, fairs are hard work. Yeah. And for somebody like, like Rob and I, you know, I'm 60 years old. 
So like I'm lifting those tables up and I'm moving it's that. Keeping you young. So, yes. Yeah. 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 And it's, it it's, um, it's physically tiring. Yeah. It's physically tiring. Yeah. You know, on, um, you know, on especially weekends where we do two events uh, on a weekend on Monday, I'm, I'm oh, exhausted. Yeah. I'm exhausted. Oh, sure. You know, there's no cooking in the nomad kitchen that night. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a takeout night. You know? Seriously. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love all that so much. I think that it's super important to to make connections with people. And and I think what's what I love about you guys is like you're super open and collaborative and find value in what I'm offering. Like we traded that whole weekend. We met with iced teas and drinks because I did the lettering in. for you. Right. right. And so like, you know, I think like myself included, there might be other people in my generation that feel this way sometimes, but like we get overwhelmed with imposter syndrome sometimes of like, I'm young and I'm doing this thing. And you know, it, it might be a lapse. It's not all the time, but it's just like a moment of like, oh my gosh, I'm like a baby. What am I doing? Like, this is crazy. You know, and like sometimes people in have that have been in their field for longer just have this like know-it-all sense to them. But like you guys are just so open and so willing to take advice and, you know, just work with people. And it's so encouraging. Well, thank you. But, you know, we're new too at this. You know, we didn't enter this. We've, Nomad is now, Nomad's about seven years old. Mm -hmm. you know, from inception. Yeah. Right. right. So, yeah. you know, listen, Rob knows the culinary, Rob knows, Rob knows the gourmet culinary industry. He knows, you know, the, um, you know, he, he knows the, um, like selling to uh, high end restaurants and things. Gotcha. Like that. But right. that's not, that's not what we're doing here. Yeah. You know, right. that's not what we're doing. We're, we're, we want to work with people. Yeah, you know, and 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 I grew up in business though. I grew up in a small. My dad was an art owned an art gallery. I think we talked about that. I, yeah, we did. Um, mm -hmm. so my dad owns an art gallery, so I grew up always face to face in a retail setting. Yeah, you know? and you said something interesting before about you know you said I'm young. What am I doing? You know, I have to tell you an interesting story. Um, I probably was about somewhere between 19 and 23, maybe, and I knew my stuff. I knew my art. Um, and I also had a really decent design sense because I would grow up around it. Right. Um, and we had a picture framing, uh, business inside the gallery and I'll never forget. Somebody came in, um, to frame something and they brought a pillow and they brought a this and they brought a that. And, you know, and I'm looking at the piece of artwork and the piece of artwork was like, for me, and I know you'll understand this. Art says, take me home. Mm -hmm. Art doesn't say it matches with my pillows. That's yeah. me. That's right. like the sense of art to my soul. Yeah. Art says, take me home. So, and that's what cooking is for us. You know, cooking is home. Cooking is like when I cook for somebody and I give you, you know, something that I've made and, that, and you like it, I feel that I feel yeah. love and I feel like that gives me right. great joy. But um, I, I remember the person asking for my grandmother, actually, um, to do the framing job because I was so young. Oh my and God. my grandmother came out and she said, you know what, let Cynthia go ahead and do that and I'll check in on her. And the woman was like, okay, whatever. So I did my thing, whatever. And, you know, grandma came out and the woman goes, oh, we don't need you. Ah, good. Oh, so, that's awesome. Know, yeah. And, and then soon after that, um, my dad's business grew and we were doing corporate art sales wow. you know, going into big co companies and helping them design, you know, their wall space and whatever. You know, I was 23 years old, 24 yeah. years old, you right. know, talking to these big executives and whatnot, but that's I cool. knew my, but you know, right. I knew what I knew yeah. as you do. And that's what I'm saying. So don't ever doubt your, um, thank you. The, the integrity of what you do because yeah, um, it's true. you know what you're doing. Yeah. You know and <laughs> listen, I've learned a tremendous amount from you. you oh know, my gosh. <laughs> like I watch, you know, I may not be as vocal in certain things, you know, because I'm watching because I, again, it could be the learning curve. Like I'm taking it in. I'm like, okay. Even when I talked to you about an unboxing, you know, how, yeah. how excited we were. Right. You know, we're right. An unboxing for us, you know, like for us, that was really exciting. You yeah. Know, and it was, and it was organic. Right. I think 
you know, when, when it's like when somebody tells you your children are nice people. Uh Yeah. (laughs) You know, like I couldn't get a better gift as a parent to somebody tell me that, oh, your children are lovely. You know, oh, your children are kind. You know, that's the best gift. And somebody does an unboxing. That's my child. That's my child. That's my, you know, so it's the same for me. I know. It's so true. Ugh. I love it. I love you guys so much. You're the best. Oh, we love you too. <laughs> so how have you had to pivot during these times? I know, you know, you're a teacher, so you've had to completely pivot to teaching mm-hmm. online. Yeah. How has that affected your business at all? Well, um, you know, interestingly, um, the, the silver lining for us was that people are in their homes more. Yeah. They are cooking more. Right. Um, and I think they were looking for a little to experiment. They had the time to experiment. Um, one person actually, um, they had purchased some items from us and they actually wrote us this really nice note about um, cooking with their children. And yeah. so I, I think for us, um, you know, we've, we've shifted and we've, you know, actually we've been a little bit more um, present in some of the, some of the social media venues so yeah. that people can understand more. And again, because we can't share at a fair, I can't right. teach you, right. I can't talk to you about, you know, somebody says, oh, I like curry, but I don't like hot curry. I want to try this, but I, you know, and I'm like, okay, this is a starter curry. <laughs> we have yeah. something called Voudabon. It's a French curry. So we call it starter curry, you know? Yeah. Um, so those kinds of things. So we have to shift the way we, the way we do that. Um, right. I've done a couple of um, videos you know, of me, uh, doing, preparing some things kind of not my world, but, but we're going to make it your world. Cause I, I think that that I, is the future. Yeah, of what yeah, you we'll, guys we'll, can yeah, do. yeah. We'll practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, and then when we did, um, the last show with you, um, and we, we did the, um, we did our own, um, drawing. Yeah. I have to tell you, I took about 21 takes. <laughs> Bob and I, oh my gosh. Bob and I, we, we just kept getting, you know, like tongue tied or no, you're supposed to say that. <laughs> oh my God. It ended up oh, just being you in the end. He wasn't even in it. <laughs> oh, it was, no, that's what I'm saying. By the end, he was like, oh, so rough, you know, so he's like, you do it. I was like, all right, I'll do it. <laughs> so it was oh really, really gosh. fun because, you know, it was like, take off his hat and here. <laughs> We scripted it and I was like, no, trust the script. Yeah, you can't script it. You can't script it. I was talking to another vendor this morning about their camera shyness or just like not being that comfortable yet recording themselves. And I was like, you just got to practice and just do your own thing. And, right, right, you know, right. having outtakes of you guys doing that would be so funny. This oh year. my God, they were so <laughs> fun. I showed them with my daughter. She was oh just laughing and crying. Oh my because God. again, I had a glass of wine, I had another drink. It's weird when you're when you're live and not talking to anyone. I I've, I've done a couple live making videos throughout this time. And but it's like I have my little I have a, like a little thing that I attach my phone to. So it just like clips and watches what I'm doing. And so then I'm not facing a camera anymore. So then I'm more myself. And then I'm like talking crazy and I put on an accent whenever I get weird I make a southern accent and it's like I, I really think you oh. are my child but but you just came out of another person I love that I because love <laughs> my child if you met Lydia that's my Same child thing? oh my Same god girl. I gotta Same meet girl. her I gotta meet my sister <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so funny yeah well so how can people support you right now um are there any new things that you guys have coming out what um things? again you know visit our website um, you know, um, we're on Etsy, we're on eBay, our website, but our website is the most complete. So we don't have as many items on Etsy and eBay, yeah. obviously, but our website, we would love people to go to our website, you know, sign up for our newsletter. It doesn't cost you anything right. and we're not going to bombard you. We will send out once a month, we send out a newsletter and we talk about a new spice. Yeah. So we might give you this whole um, information about Zatar and we'll give you a recipe. Of course, we're going to give you a link, how to buy it. Of course. Right. You got it. <laughs> but you don't have to, yeah. you know, we're just there to educate you. So we would love people to, you know, come, 
you know, sign up for our newsletter, sign, sign up for our website. Again, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, we do give you nomad points because as you grow nomad points, you know, you're going to, you're building dollars. Yeah. You know, so just by doing those things, you're going to get nomad points. Um, yeah. And again, try something, try yeah. something. Send us an email and say, you know, I'd love to try such and such, but I don't want to buy such a big quantity. I'll send you a little package. That's awesome. I'll send you a little package. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'll, you can try it, you know? Um, right. Well, and that's the difference between, you know, working with a small business like you guys versus going to the grocery store and, and buying a case of whatever, right. or, like, right. you know, a little dispenser of it. But yeah, that's awesome. Hold on one minute. I'm going to go off camera for a second. I want to get something. I'll show okay. you. <laughs> I haven't really gone away. I've okay. Hello. You're camera. still there. <laughs> I'm excited. All right. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So when you purchase from us, when you purchase from us, you always get your item, obviously. And we always send samples. So for example, this is a sample of um, hibiscus flour. And yeah. we give you enough to make one portion of whatever. Yeah. So hibiscus flour. This is our new za'atar, you know. So we give you enough to use in a recipe. We send saffron. We wow, send saffron. that's gold, man. Yep. yep, this is a chipotle powder. This is probably enough for two recipes of something. Yeah. That's great. We put that in every package. That's awesome. Um, we send one of these, typically right. one, depending on what, you know, if you buy butterfly pea flour, we'll probably send you hibiscus. Yeah. But, you know, if there's something that somebody wants and they want to try it, send yeah. me a, send me a note. So go to our website, send us a note, say, I'd love to try this and this. We'll send you these little packets. So kind. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, I didn't ask you is where do you guys source your spices and everything from? How did you get into that and connecting with, you know, other countries? Um, well, we source from all over the world. We do have a domestic, um, another source. Uh -huh. That source is bigger than we can yeah. at this point right. uh, for some of our blends. But um, our really unique pieces, you know, we source ourselves. So our saffron, for example, we import directly from Spain, from the wow. La Mancha region of Spain. So it's the finest saffron. Wow. And we always get all the certs, you know, to make sure that yeah. people know it's authentic, it's real, it's not yeah. fake. Um, and our butterfly pea flower. That's a funny story. Um, we import that from Thailand and the communication between us and Thailand, it's a little <laughs> difficult um, because again, that wasn't, we haven't been, but gotcha. um, you know, we were searching and searching and searching for a reputable um, source. Again, you know, we brought it, we asked for samples. We brought it to labs to make sure that they got tested. It is what it is. It's authentic. It's, you know, right. and, and so that's how we, yeah, uh, that's how we source. Yeah, that's I think that's just important for people to to hear and know, and because I, I know that. But you know, people even like when you buy a spice from a grocery store, like who knows where it came from? Some well, of the companies listen, are like, you know, McCormick's is a very reputable company. Right. Disease is a very listen. I'm giving them props. They're reputable, but they're also very large, right. and they're not going to do this. Yeah. They're not going to have that conversation with you. Right. You right. Know, listen. If somebody wanted to Zoom with me, I'll Zoom with them. You know? <laughs> I'll teach them about something. I just bought your such and such set and I don't know what to do with it. I'll Zoom with you. Yeah. Listen, so I Zoom cool. every day. Yeah, you're so, a pro. <laughs> as a teacher, I, I can Zoom with you. you That's know? so helpful to know. Just to have that connection with someone is great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's you know, awesome. Cook together with somebody. I think that'd be fun. You and I can cook together. I know. We got to do that. We will. Yeah, that would sure. be great. Yeah. We'll have to have, um, we'll have to have some signs. Like we'll have to have, um, well, you yeah. know, I don't know if you, when you go on our site, did, did you notice we have a BW bus with our, with our nomad? Yes, bus? I've seen that's, that. That's like before we met you. I know. Yeah. Uh, you have like the camper bus with it on it. Yeah. yeah. And we have a set, we have a 76 convertible bug. Right. Uh, right. You've told me that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Like a teal, like it's a, that's it's like so a baby funny. blue. Right. Uh, Oh kind of like kind of like this color here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's getting back on the road. It needs a few repairs. The motorcycle just got repaired, so 
Um, <laughs> one toy at a time. <laughs> yeah, so one, pe one toy at a time. Exactly. Nomad helps that. Yeah. So Nomad, you know, again, and that's the thing, like Nomad for us is um, we enjoy new, doing Nomad. We enjoy that, but it also, it also helps us do the things that we like to do. Yep. You totally. Know? Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for educating me and everyone else on your business and your wisdom. It's so great to see okay. you, friend. This is so great. I, I really enjoy every time we talk and yeah. I know we don't get to talk often. I know um, we got to have, have that happen more. I need more we'll support. have to have, um, you know, we'll have to have like a, a maybe a, a, once things open up a little bit, um, I've actually seen like some food trucks doing some little things. Maybe yeah. we can talk and just say, okay, we can all park here. We can all have a yeah. little time. Well, right. Cause I'm doing the movie nights with my bus now. So right. we can work together on doing that. And where are you doing those? People's backyards <laughs> mainly. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. And so, but I'm starting to contact townships and talk with them about doing like public movie right. nights and stuff. Right. Cause um, we have a, you know, we have the Warwick, right. Uh, New York is right by us. Right. There's a um, drive-in movie. I know. I know. I have friends that have driven up there before for it. Yeah. So it's but funny. I would love, like, I think that is so cool home. bring the movies to you. Yeah. Oh, my exactly. God. That's so cool. Yeah. So that'll we'll be fun. To, you know, we'll have to think about that because watch a movie, jump in our pool. I would love that. Look something nice. Oh, my gosh. See. Please. That sounds Maybe like we can do a vendor thing. Thing. I need. <laughs> Maybe we can do a vendor thing with just vendors. Yeah, like a little vendor retreat. Oh my gosh. Cynthia, we have yes. to plan. All right, well, let's keep our secrets away from everyone else until we launch them. I will talk to you soon, dear friend. Thanks so much Great. for being a part of this. It was wonderful. I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Bye.